My dear good people of River State, it is my singular honor and privilege to address you today on this auspicious occasion of the 2023 Christmas celebration, the first since my assumption of office as your chief steward. As we all know, the circumstances surrounding the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ are very sobering. He was born of exceptionally low parentage. Joseph the carpenter and the mother, the Immaculate Virgin Mary, not of royalty. This reality indicates the two very unique quality the Almighty God expects the entire mankind to emulate, simplicity and humility. Therefore, on this special occasion, let us all remind ourselves of the major teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ, selflessness, love for one another, and the unexistable will to forgive one another. As I have earlier promised, the mantra of our administration is continuity and consolidation. I wish to reiterate that nothing shall constrain us from our part in our commitment to provide a steady flow of the dividend of democracy in all positive ramification to our dear states. I must heartily thank all the good people of River State and all men and women of goodwill, even those beyond our shore, for the massive love and support we have received and continuously to enjoy before and during the recent travail that challenged the peace of our states and stability of our government. Let me also use this opportunity to express our profound gratitude to our dear President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, His Excellency the President, Asuwaji Bola Tinibu, GCFRO, for weathering into near crisis situation that almost portrayed the prevailing peace in our dear state. Indeed, by this singular effort, our dear president has demonstrated that he loved River State and cherished nothing short of a reign of perfect peace in our states with his presidential peace proclamation on the 18th of December, 2023. Mr. President, peace proclamation has naturally elicited mixed reaction from our people and across the country. As a principal participant in the entire saga, I have taken some time to study the terms therein and have come to the conclusion that the peace part is not as bad as it might be portrayed by those genuinely opposed to it. It is certainly not a death sentence. It affords some way towards a lasting peace and stability in our dear states. Accordingly, I reaffirm my acceptance of the Presidential Peace Proclamation and my commitment to implementing both the spirit and the letter of the Declaration in such a way and manner that will restore political stability to our dear state without compromising the collective interests of our people and our cherished and shared democratic value. Already, both parties have demonstrated some goodwill in the implementation process with the withdrawal of the purported impeachment notice on their part and the release of hitherto withheld allowances of the members of the state's House of Assembly by the government. I have said before, there is no price too much to pay for peace. And with the realization that the worst peace is better than the best war, we we we'll strive to make peace with all segments and interest group without surrendering our freedom or jeopardizing the interests and well-being of the good people of River State who graciously entrusted us with their cherished mandate. I assure you that we will, in the face of every challenge, always consult widely and confidently to such parts that will best advance and protect the collective interests of our states and people, which is what we have resolved to do in the present circumstance. Let me therefore 
grave your kind understanding and call on you to have confidence in the process we are embarking on, upon to find lasting peace in our state as we are confident that we can achieve stability and progress without endangering the collective interests of our people. I am proud to say that we have successfully confronted the challenges of governance and have made measurable progress in the last seven months of our administration with various laudable projects and programs, some completed, some ongoing, and others at the advanced stage of completion. By the grace of God, 2024 will witness a speedy transformation of our state with the completion of most of our projects and programs, such as section of the Podagod Ring Road, the Andoni section of the Unity Road, the Ahoda Omok Road, the Emowa Degema Road, and others, and the commencement of many other laudable projects, both in infrastructure and human capital development, as outlined in our 2024 budget. Once again, let me thank you all for your undying support and encouragement in the face of denting challenge and reaffirm our commitment to redeeming our electoral promises. By God's grace, we are on the path of unstoppable progress and shall meet your expectation within the limit of available resources. Finally, as we joyfully celebrate the glorious birth of the Prince of Peace, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2024. Thank you and may God bless our dear state. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.